Are you interested in or have already purchased a copier or printer with a maintenance plan but have some questions regarding the Xerox device agent, such as what it does or what to do when it stops running? After watching this video, you'll have a better understanding over what it is and what to do if it goes down, along with some additional information. I'm Maggie Swinson, and I'm a business consultant here at STPT. Because of my experience and the extensive training I've gone through led by industry leaders, I will effectively explain what the Xerox device agent is, what to do if it stops running, how to add a printer to the XDA, and more covering everything you need to know about the Xerox device agent. If purchasing a copier printer for business needs, you'll likely want to add a maintenance plan that comes with an auto toner shipment service. When doing business with STP Texas, this service is called eBLA. In order for our service to read your meter and monitor your toner levels, the Xerox device agent is an app that allows for the collection of meter reads of each printer. It can be loaded on any Windows computer or server that is under continual power and on the same network as the printers. This provides visibility to the printers you want to monitor. Once it communicates with the printers, it then gathers information such as toner levels and meters and sends them to Xerox. Once this information is received, the internal algorithms at Xerox will determine when to automatically send supplies. This way, customers always have toner available when needed. More than likely, we will notice that the XDA is down before the customer does. If it does stop running, contact your customer experience department. They will walk you through the troubleshooting procedures to have it reestablished a good connection. Every situation is different, but the XDA is usually very easy to get running again. If the problem can't be fixed on the customer side, a service technician gets dispatched or can assist remotely to further assist with the issue. Adding a printer to the XDA requires a few steps. The eBLA app can be found on the desktop of the computer it was loaded on. From there, follow these instructions to add another printer to the XDA. First, open eBLA. Second, click Add Printer Wizard on the left side of the dashboard. It automatically has the radio button, IP address, or DNS name selected for a single printer to be added. The fourth step is type in the IP of the printer you want to add and then click Next. Fifth step, once the process has completed, either click Add Another Printer or Finish. Sixth is if multiple, click Address Range or Subnet to search an entire subnet for printers. Seventh step is select the search type from the drop down list according to what you want to search. Usually you will use IPv4 range. The eighth step is type in your starting IP in the start address bar. Ninth step is type in your ending IP in the end address bar. Tenth step is ensure that your subnet mask is correct. The eleventh step is click the arrow pointing to the right to add to the list of ranges to search. And lastly, click Next. And once it is completed, you can click Finish. A frequently asked question is, if my printer is connected to my computer with a USB cord, will the XDA see it on the network? And in short, the answer is no. The XDA is a networked agent and can only see machines that are registered on the network. Now that you know what the XDA is and what it does, Continue furthering your copier printer education by clicking on the link or picture below, which will be a guide to help you control printing costs within your office. Congrats, you're now educated on everything you need to know about the Xerox device agent. If you have any more questions regarding the XDA or further assistance is needed, reach out to our customer experience department.